Hi guys, good day and welcome to today on Princess Annie TV. Hope you're doing fine, great, happy, just like I am. <laughs> so guys, today we are going to continue on this air field light. Yesterday I started live stream and I got to discover that this it didn't upload well because I had a lot of interruptions on that video on that live stream. So I decided that we should do it again. See, these air field lights are very very important because as an aviator. If you're going to be flying at night, you definitely need to know these lights. And I remember that when they were briefing us for us to go for night rating, they had to teach us all these things for us to be conversant with them. And along the line, I got to discover that, oh man, this is important. You need it to fly at night, most especially at night and when the, the visibility is very down, like instrument kind of conditions. That's what I mean. Yeah, instrument kind of conditions. And I was reading this thing in a briefing note just in flight line and I thought, oh my God. You guys need to know about this. You know, I will always share the best information. <laughs> yeah, I always give you guys the best information because you guys are the best. Like, you guys have been supporting me from my journey, like, starting flights. And in case you're new here and you don't know me, my name is Princess Anu. Yes, I'm a student pilot, still in training, and I have my commercial pilot license. I'm working on getting my instruments and my multi-engine rating, which I hope to get very, very soon. But guys, let's jump straight into this. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> so welcome back guys when we talk about airfield lights like we are talking about lights that you see on the airfield like in the airport around the the airport environment we're talking about taxi lights we're talking about runway lights we're talking about runway edge lights we're talking about the lights that controller used to indicate either for you to land or for you to take off or for you not to land or that the airport is closed you know all those lights we're going to discuss more on that maybe later but i just want us to touch some few of them of the airfield lights and the first one that i have here which i was reading is the taxi edge light you know when you're taxiing, especially at night, because when you're taxiing, okay, let me talk about taxiing during the day. One that you can see that is very, very much obvious. When you're taxiing during the day, you see a yellow light on the apron to the runway. It leads you, there's a yellow light that leads you from the apron where you park your aircraft just to the runway. And that light is very, very much, uh, that line is very much obvious. That's during the day. But at night, in an airfield that is, slated for night operations because it's not every airfield that is slated for night operations e.g our own aerodrome here in zaria is not yet approved for night operations because we don't have runway lights we don't have taxi lights and all that so i think when they fix all these things they are likely going to approve us for night operations but for now we don't have all that so there are airfields that are specially approved for night operations and now in these airfields at night you see a blue light that's for the taxi edge light you see a blue light so you see that when you're taxiing at the edge you're going to be seeing a blue light just like you can see on your screen right now you're just going to be seeing that blue light when you're taxiing at night so guys that's how it looks like at night so that you when you get to an airfield or when you get to an airport you don't get confused like ah oh. you just see that even if you're new in that aerodrome the moment you see that light at night you know that this is the edge of the taxi light and you should not go so close because if you see yourself just at that blue light oh my god you're likely going into a ditch or you're likely going away from the tag road or from the tag path that's going to be leading you to the wrong way or back to the apron let's move over to the next now the next one is a taxi center light the taxi center light at night is a green light don't forget i said before the taxi uh center light during the day is a is a uh, yellow line during the day that's what you get during the day but now at night is a green light you're going to be seeing for an fu that is night rated or for an fu that is that has all those instrument systems in them and has all those lights so you're going to be seeing a green light at night you need to know all this because the moment you start flying at night seriously nobody might tell you you just need to come back to this video and watch it over and over again yeah because funny enough i'm still going to watch it because when i want to play at night and remember all these things i still have to i still have to watch this video aviation we all learn every single day and the thing is you have to keep yourself current you need to keep yourself in the know you can't say oh i know everything and bam. No, no 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 we keep learning every single day now let's move over to the next one the wrong way edge light i told you i was reading this and so that's why I'm ha i have to use the note 
that I was reading to like tell you so that you know how authentic this is. <laughs> the runway edge light at night, the runway edge light for aviation is white. <clears throat> so you know the runway edge light, you're just going to be seeing it. That is a white light. And not just that is a white light. There's another one I want to talk about. I was supposed, I was supposed to leave it at the end. But since I'm talking about the runway already, the runway end lights are red. You know, wherever you see red, you obviously know it's danger. And so that's what they're trying to call your attention to. The moment you see a red light, you're trying to land or you're trying to taxi or trying to move. The moment you start seeing a red light, see, it's like, please make it a go around. It's, there's no harm. Come on, make it a go around. You don't have to kill yourself. So when you see red lights on the runway, that's the runway end light. That means you're getting towards the end of the runway. And so please just make it a go around. Be safe. Your family needs you. We all need you. <laughs> it sounds like I'm preaching to someone. <laughs> but that's true. Like we all need you. So just make it a go around and come back again for another approach because you don't want to be seeing those red lights you don't want because and don't forget even at night let's talk about the puppy light you know at night also we have like the puppy lights that tells you whether you're high or you're low some places you have puppy some places you have bassy but puppy is mainly very much common especially nowadays i think maybe bassy is kind of like old school i really don't know but puppy is what you see so you see like Four lights aligned. The moment you see two red, two white, that means, wow, you're on approach. Everything is perfect. The moment you see three whites and one red, that means you're too high. You have to fly down. Now, the moment you see three reds and one and one white, see, you're low. My brother, my sister, you are low. <laughs> and what do you have to do? You have to, like, fly up. So, it's just the same thing. And the moment you see three reds and one white, that means you are very low the moment you see four white lights uh, four white lights that means you are very high the moment you see four red lights you are super super low so once you have this lighting in at the back of your mind because you definitely need to know all these things once you have this at the back of your mind your approach is going to be smoother you just have a smoother approach you know when to add power you know when to reduce power you know when to just make it go around because you should not be seen at any time at night on approach you should not be seeing four reds. Uh, uh, uh. You shouldn't even be seeing three reds. I think even if you're seeing uh, three whites and one red, as in it's still telling you, yes, you're high, but you can just you know, reduce the power, you know, come down a little bit, you know, all that. But the moment you start seeing four reds, mba, 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 mm -mm, no. The moment you start seeing, you just, the perfect approach you need to see is two reds and two whites. You keep coming down to red, to white, to red, to white, to red, to red, and you come and touch down. So, uh, there's one more light I want us to talk about. Threshold lights are green. And uh, which other one do I have here? Okay, I think basically that's it. Others are something that we can just discuss about later on in another video. But for now, don't forget what I said before. Taxi edge lights are blue. Taxi center lights are green. Runway edge lights in aviation are white. Uh, threshold lights are green. Runway end lights. Always have that at the back of your mind. Runway end lights are red. Whenever you see red, please, please, please just go around. And... Uh, uh, runway end lights, yes, they are red. Threshold lights are green. So, guys, these are all that I have to share with you today. And don't forget the puppy lights we discussed about. You should always be seeing two reds, two whites. Those are the aviation airfield lights that I want us to discuss today. Probably next time we're going to be discussing other things, communication. We're going to be discussing how to get better in some of these things. I'm here for you. Trust me, Princess Anu is here for you. <laughs> so, uh, I wish you all a wonderful Christmas break. And as many that go home already go my colleagues go my friends everyone yeah i'm kind of packing up like you can see the whole setup when i'm at home you kind of know because the setup is different but now my setup hasn't changed because i'm still right here in school but i'm going to be going home very very soon so guys stay safe be fine and enjoy yourself